Good morning and welcome. Uh, my name is Albert Park, uh, and I'm going to chair uh, this morning's program. I'm a professor of social science and economics here at Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, and the director of the new Institute for Emerging Market Studies, uh, which is, is the establishment of which we are gathered here today to uh, celebrate. Uh, today we have a, a very distinguished group of participants, uh, including President Chan, uh, other top leaders of the university, uh, top global managers of Ernst & Young, our partners in setting up uh, the new institute, and several very distinguished speakers. Although one speaker is on his way, so which is why we've had sl a slight delay trying to figure out where he is, but I hope uh, he'll make it soon. Um, and uh, these uh, distinguished speakers will help us kick off the activities of the Institute this morning with an in-depth discussion on the prospects for emerging markets in the global economy, which is the theme of today's event. So I'll have a few more words to say about the Institute uh, later, but at this point, and without further ado, let me invite Professor Tony Chan, President of Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, to come up and offer a few welcoming remarks. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Albert. Uh, let me first, uh, first of all, on behalf of HKUST, welcome all of you to our beautiful campus. Uh, we are gathered here to help launch this, uh, the newest uh, center that we have, actually, you know, at, uh, on our campus. Uh, it's the Institute for Emerging Market Studies. Uh, so in addition to, I'm sure I, I read some of the abstracts, and uh, not being expert in this area, I actually can understand uh, some of the content, or the, at least the importance of the topic to be discussed. You know, I'm not an expert in this area. But really, uh, uh, we are here to launch this uh, new institute. Now, this new, new institute is, uh, we're doing this in partnership with Ernst and uh, Young, and uh, through a generous donation for the initial five-year period. I think it was 500,000 US dollars. Uh, so we really hope to get this going. Uh, we, I understand in the audience, uh, probably, <laughs> It is a significant fraction of the audience is from Ernst and Young, and uh, uh, in particular, I want to recognize uh, Jay Nibi, uh, who I will introduce later. He will speak uh, after me, but also uh, quite a large contingent from the Hong Kong office, if I understand. But in addition, I do want to recognize three people from Ernst and Young, uh, who are on the new institute's advisory board: uh, Carl Johansson. Is he? Ah, okay. I call, yeah, he's a managing. We met before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's the managing partner for uh, the Commonwealth of Independent States Countries, and uh, he led uh, Ernst and Young's efforts to establish a new institute at UST. That's why we met. Sam Park. Sam, we met before. Sam is the president of the of the Institute of, for Emerging Markets, uh, established by Ernst and Young at Skokovo in uh, Russia, and he played a key role in establishing this institute and also coordinating the global network of Ernst and Young's uh, research collaboration in different emerging markets. And last but not least, uh, Agnes Chen. Uh, hi. <laughs> Agnes is the regional managing partner for Hong Kong and Macau of Ernst and Young. So welcome uh, all of our Ernst and Young uh, colleagues. Uh, maybe I say a little bit about uh, how this New Institute fits into the uh, HKUST vision and plan. Uh, as you know, uh, HKUST, uh, we're the youngest university in Hong Kong, but in a way, we are the most uh, international. From the beginning, our vision is to, you know, be a place, a center of learning, center of scholarship that is recognized from uh, from around the world, not just in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a small place. Hong Kong only has seven million people. Uh, in the field that we do, and we only have four schools, science, engineering, business management, humanities, social sciences. We want to uh, establish uh, ourselves as a center of learning and scholarship. We want to also engage uh, the uh, rest of the world. We want to bring the rest of the world here for the benefit of our student faculty and also Hong Kong society in general. So the idea uh, area, the area of emerging markets, needed to say, uh, even for a lay person like me, we are all affected by it. We are in an emerging market. Uh, our livelihood, our economic well-being all depends on this. 
and Hong Kong being in an emerging market, being in a region of the world where this is increasingly important. We are part of China now, Hong Kong, and China is certainly one of the key emerging markets. Uh, we, we are not too far from India. In fact, we are a speaker here today from India talking about the importance of the, uh, the Indian economy. Uh, the whole Asian region is very, very important. So uh, we at HAUST aim to take advantage of our geopolitical uh, location and position uh, in order to uh, contribute to uh, our, the world discussion. Uh, in this very important topic. So that's where we're coming from. Uh, in addition to this particular institute, we're doing other things to engage with the world. Uh, this is one thing, just in the last uh, few months that we started. Uh, we are starting, uh, we signed an agreement with Oxford University uh, in January this year to launch a, a new executive training series in uh, leadership in public policy that will be based in Hong Kong. Okay, so it will be uh, more like that. Uh, last August, we announced uh, a, a new major initiative between our school and Xi'an Jiao Tong University. We're going to build a new joint school of sustainable development uh, that is going to be joint, physically located in Xi'an, but with faculty going back and forth. So these are just two examples where we are, HKUST, trying to take advantage of our fact that we are, you know, we're in China, we're governed by one country, two system, but we're also an international university trying to engage uh, with the rest of the world. So uh, I, I understand today uh, we have three very distinguished uh, speakers. As I mentioned, uh, one from India, one uh, from uh, mainland China, and uh, one from US, if I understand. He, I assume he's, <laughs> he's the one that's still finding find his way here. Is, is he? Yeah. yeah. From uh, Colombia, I understand. I think those, these three uh, countries, oh, we just <laughs> welcome our new speaker. I just mentioned you, even though we haven't met yet. <laughs> uh, I would say these three regions or uh, economy represent three of the key uh, uh, parties that any discussion on emerging party, uh, emerging e economy will have to address. So we are very, very fortunate to have three distinguished speakers uh, here today uh, to speak to us. Uh, so, uh, I would say without further ado, uh, I would like to introduce uh, uh, Jay Nibby from Ernst & Young. He, I just met, we, uh, he came all the way from London only a couple of days ago. Uh, let me just uh, give a very brief, I mean, I think half the audience already know him. <laughs> so, I would just be very, very brief. Uh, uh, Jay Nibby is responsible for Ernst & Young's market strategy for Europe, Middle East, India and Africa. Uh, he also has extensive global experience, having led the CIS tax practice from Moscow, Russia for four years. So please, Jay. 